Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, October 7th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. The moon hits third quarter, so it's only visible in the morning sky, Saturday, October 10th. Moonrise just uh, at, before lunchtime and setting right after midnight. Let's take a look at the drought uh, conditions in the state. Going all the way back to June 23rd, we had no drought in the northern counties, a little bit of drought in the southern counties. Going to last week, we had worsening drought in the western slopes. And then out here on the plains, had our first exceptional drought showing up. Right around Longmont, we're kind of in the mid-range for moisture. But going to this week, we now have exceptional drought beginning out on the western slope. So still very dry. And looking at the precipitation, we got nothing for the last uh, week. But here's where the long-term drought is. Right here and down to the Four Corners states and up in the Pacific Northwest. And our precipitation map, like I said, completely empty. So what we have had for all the summer and now into the fall is this giant high pressure system, this ridge extending up and down the west coast and it's responsible for the heat, very little rain, and the increased fire danger and the fires that are ongoing. You can see the circulation around this, got a little, playing a little low out here, but other than that, the high is much stronger and it just is bringing the air around and around the west. So we're going to put this into motion. This is the next couple of days of smoke forecast from the high resolution rapid refresh map. You can see our fires here, the Cameron Peak and the Muller fire up and coming across from Wyoming, putting out big plumes of smoke. It's kind of backing up against the front range. The west coast smoke is not really getting here, but you can see as the high kind of shifts, we're going to get a little more of a westerly flow. So that thickest plume is now kind of heading up into Nebraska. Not quite as bad around here, but there still is a good amount of smoke. I'm going to show you a new tool out here. We haven't talked about this here, but we've talked about it on the astronomy update each month. This is cleardarksky.com. And for astronomers, it shows cloud cover, transparency, how much the sky is uh, stable or how much the stars are twinkling. But what they've just added is an hour by hour smoke forecast column. And it doesn't go out as far as the rest of the forecast does. It goes out about a day and a half into the future. The blues and the light blues are relatively clean air. And then the dark browns, pretty understandably, are the thicker smoke amounts. And I think it goes almost to a black or dark red shading for the worst smoke. So it's a nice tool. If you want to know what, when you're going to go out and take your run or your walk the dog, take a look at clear dark sky and see what that hour looks like. So we have that high out in the west. We have the ridge up the west coast. We have a little bit of upper level moisture coming in to the central plains, the northern Rockies. It's not enough for any precipitation, though. There's that funny little low swirling out there. Down here, we're going to talk about Delta in a little bit, but this is the new, very strong hurricane uh, forming uh, off the Yucatan Peninsula. So over the next 10 days, our normal high temperature is going to drop from 69 down to 66, and our normal nighttime temperatures start to get down into the 30s. This is the actual forecasted temperature, and for the next five days or so, we are staying above normal, uh, both for highs and lows. After the weekend, we get down to the low end of normal, but even though it's going to feel cold, this is now normal. <laughs> so, And for the first time in a long time, we have a returning chance of rain. This is an ensemble uh, forecast, and so they change this model's data just a little bit and how they calculate things and see if it consistently predicts rainfall. And it's got a lot of runs where you do have precipitation falling. So let's put this into motion, taking a look at the upper level map, and we're going to watch our ridge get replaced by a trough. But here comes Delta coming up into the Gulf and then heading for Louisiana. And just as it makes landfall around Friday, we have the trough coming in for the weekend on the west. It digs in over Colorado, 
And if this holds, we get what's called a cutoff low here. So it slows down a little bit. It actually can stay around long enough to give us a chance of rain, bringing in a lot of cooler air. Then we have the trough, another trough skirting by far to our north, uh, going on to about 10 days from now. Looking at the precipitation forecast, completely dry in the west for the next five days. Here comes Delta into the Gulf. They've run out of the normal names as they have one other time in history. So we've gone to the Greek alphabet, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. Uh, but there it is making landfall and going up into the U.S. Here comes our system for the end of the weekend into Monday. For a moment, the lobe is pumping moisture up slope, giving us some rain, and then off it goes again. These things are pretty difficult to forecast. Cutoff lows can do their own things. They can go quicker. They can not quite cut off as much and just zip on by. So between now and the weekend, this forecast will probably change significantly. So take a look at it. But let's take a look at temperatures over the same period. You can see the reds and purples here are much above normal. And we saw that on the 10-day graph. This is a lot of heat in the west, very abnormal high temperatures. The ridge heads out. Here comes the trough. Here's the hurricane making a landfall, cooling things down briefly, and lots of cold air into the west. You can see it hitting the front range and the plains. That's our rainy period at the beginning of the week. The heat starts to come back when that next wave comes through the northern states, and it pumps down enough cold air to give us one or two chilly days around next weekend. So over the next five days, our precipitation is pretty much nothing. There's a sprinkle out there on the, the mountains. Then over the next 10 days, this again will change a lot because cutoff lows are just weird that way. But there's a few places getting over an inch of precipitation. That's the blue shading. That'll change every run, but it's hope. It's something cool and wet. Uh, change in the weather is going to be great. So looking out the next seven days, we remain almost uh, up at 90 degrees. We've never hit 90 degrees after October 1st, but we're skirting with it. It was 88 and 86, 86 for Saturday. The front comes in on Sunday, giving us our chance of rain, and we drop to the 60s, 30s at night. Take a quick look at the latest on Tuesday afternoon with Hurricane Delta. It's a Category 4. Uh, hurricane is going to hit the Yucatan, move up into the Gulf, start to feel the westerlies and curve around, making landfall somewhere in central Louisiana late Friday, early Saturday morning. This model run in this forecast is a little bit further west than it was just about 12 hours before when we had a closer hit uh, looking possible for New Orleans. New Orleans is not out of the woods. This is still pretty, pretty close. It's within this uncertain cone um, right there. Taking a look at ensemble map again, another way to use computer models to run them a bunch of times and get uh, an idea of all the things that could happen. You can see it lingering out in the Gulf. One even has a loop. But this black line is sort of the average of all those, and it's coming into central Louisiana at that time. And this is a forecast, again, different models this time, taking a look at how strong this storm will be. It's starting out at Category 4 here on Tuesday. A lot of them keep it Category 4 until it makes landfall uh, uh, coming into the weekend. A couple of them are heading up into the strong Category 5. A few of them have it weakened, especially since it's got to go over land for a little bit in the Yucatan. So something to keep an eye on this week. Uh, some excitement again at the end of the week. So for more local news, and frequent weather updates, check out the Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.